one of the most rewarding parts of the whole gardening journey is when it comes time to harvest and it's, well, it's my second favorite part of the, my gardening journey because obviously the favorite part is eating all this stuff but I'm just going to show you how I do my harvest um, I've got pretty much everything here is uh, grown at the same time not the way to do it but hey it is so let's start with we're down the front here and we'll get some basil sometimes the basil roots tend to get quite big so I'll probably find that this roots gonna break off I'll, look at that you can't even buy that in the shop can you look at that it's just beautiful oh it's so intense I've got half the root out there some nice little lettuce here you see beautiful leaves nice and crispy it's pretty warm today and they're still quite crispy which is um, amazing um, some more basil down here I reckon someone told me the other day they paid about six dollars for a tiny little bunch probably you know something something maybe about maybe about that big which is absolutely ridiculous look at that so you definitely make your money back real fast on a salad table i can tell you now Oop. anyone would think i like basil got some more i may as well just pick all the basil while i'm here and then i'll show you a big bunch at the end the smell is just amazing i've had this growing on the farm like about twenty thousand plants on the farm at the same time and the uh, after harvest, just wafting down over the house, it's just just to die for, I tell ya. I didn't think I had so much basil, I got more up there as well. Now the good thing about is that uh, the lids come off, as do all our products, or most of our products, and it makes it really easy to do a proper clean at the end so we can clean these root systems out we can wipe down any grime that we might have oh this one's got a massive root look at the size of that look at that in my head that's huge pop him down there there's even more to go in here i don't even remember putting this many seeds in but it's been successful oh, i've even missed two up that end oh, my god this is unbelievable Wow. I was going to say here's a tiny little basil here, but it's, you wouldn't call that tiny in the shops, would you? Another one here. And I think there's another one over the back, but I'm going to show you this anyway. Look at this. This is just unbelievable. That's just basil. Look at it. There is so, whoops, basil pesto. Imagine how much basil pesto I'm gonna get out of that. Oh. All right, that is definitely gonna go into pesto. I might need some more oil though. Check out my video on how to make your own pesto. And uh, probably not a very good judge of making pesto because it was the first time I've ever done it. Look at that beautiful, nice little lettuce there. And you can see I've actually, I've mixed in some, um, it looks like, uh, it's not an oak leaf, that's more like a, uh, a coral type lettuce in there. Must have been a random seed just fell in there. Another lettuce there. Now you can see that this one has probably been starved of a little bit of light and I've left it in there way too long. And you see how it's gone leggy? So it looks like a little tree instead of a lettuce. So that is probably because there's been, uh, it's been in there for too long. Um, that's what I'm gonna put it down to. And then if you taste it, it's probably gonna be pretty bitter as well. It's actually not too bad. I would definitely put that in the salad. It doesn't look pretty, but certainly tastes pretty oh look at this i don't know if it's everyone's favorite but watercress if there's any kiwis out there you're gonna be loving this the old uh what do they call it pork bone and puha i think it is you would be loving this oh look at that watercress try and buy that in the shop you can't oh and check out this this is unbelievable look at that i was talking about algae in another video just before and about how sometimes it affects the plants. Now, this, these, uh, these did have algae on them, but look at the, the beautiful white root system there. It's just amazing. Oh, that is awesome. What else have we got? We've got more lettuce, some more leggy lettuce here, but like I said before, it's definitely gonna go in the salad, no problems at all. I seriously have way too much stuff here, so I'll be, uh, I'll be everyone's friend, giving it away. Uh, more lettuce there. I'll put them in one big pile so I can show you in the end. It's probably a few kilos worth of lettuce here, so price-wise in the shop, I'm not quite sure what uh, you'd be paying. Well, oh, going back a few months, a few months ago, lettuce was $12 for a lettuce. 
just ridiculous. Now, unfortunately, we're, you know, it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get more expensive. And I can grow, I can grow beautiful lettuce for less than 40 cents. In fact, any of these plants I can grow for less than 40 cents. And so can you. Put them down there without breaking the leaves too much. I've got some, um, this is called a cress. I'm not a big fan of it. It grows really fast. Looks like I've got some bit of rocket caught up in there as well. But, um, not a big fan, but hey, grows well. Some smaller lettuce there. I might just leave in. Um, I've got, oh, look at this. Now this is on the end of the table. This is a cos lettuce. It's bigger than my head. You know they say don't eat anything bigger than your head. I don't believe that. I'll be eating it for sure. I will. Um, yeah, look at the size of that. So that's been on the end of the table, getting all that all the light in the afternoon. And it's been quite warm as well. So it's just absolutely loving it. Full sun. I could break that off. Down there, the little bits down there. And then you go into the supermarket and you find that, well, you probably don't even find that. Definitely don't find this that fresh. But that sit on the shelf and cost you a fortune. And it's definitely not as fresh as this. Listen to the, listen to the crunch. Got my microphone on here. Mmm. That is really, really good. You can seriously just eat that on its own without anything. Um, what else we got here? We've got some beautiful little kale that I'm gonna leave in. Yes, some curly kale. That is so healthy, one of the superfoods, so they call it. It's just full of nutrients and keeps you going on the inside. So there you go. How's that? Oh, some little chives here. These are really, really, I think these are um, garlic. Mmm, garlic chives. You can definitely taste the garlic in them. I'll leave them in there and we'll keep them growing. So look at that. Just to show you, here's just a few lettuce. We've got a heap of basil. I didn't have much of a combination on here, but yeah, look at that. Huge.